Uh, hello uh, and welcome uh, to this project. Uh, so we will create uh, an employee management uh, application. Uh, so first let's take a look uh, at uh, the project. Uh, so as you can see here we have the dashboard, we have also the employees. Uh, so the admin uh, can create, uh, edit and delete uh, employees. Also you can search for uh, an employee. Also, you can view an employee and download the survey of the employee as a PDF. So, as you can see here, so here is our employee CV, so with image and all the informations. And also, the admin can view at edit attendance. And also, he can add, edit, uh, and delete uh, holiday requests. Uh, so, as you can see here, we have many requests. Uh, also, you can view the requests. Uh, and same thing, we can download the requests uh, as a PDF. Okay, so here we have information, name, email, or name and image. And here, holiday request starts in uh, on ending on and status and the company information okay and finally we have the logout links for the or the logout link for the admin so this is our application so until now so this is what i have uh, done so in the future if i add uh, any updates so we will we will see that uh, in the coming uh, videos okay so the first thing you need to do is to create a new Laravel application. So I have already done this step. So let's close this one that I showed you. So let's, uh, so we need first to move to the project. So where is it? So let's copy again and paste here. So now we can open this project using VS Code. So let's close this terminal and let's see. So let's close again. And here is our project. So first we need to create uh, the model, the models and the migrations. So let's start uh, with the first model. So let's create uh, the first model. So PHP artisan, artisan make a model and first model is the department the part department so we need a t here and we need also migration so next we need another one so this one will be for the position so the position inside the the company and also we need another one for the employee and we need another one for the attendance and we need a final one for the holiday requests and that's all okay so let's move to our database folder migration so here we have the departments so inside this uh, table so we have only one field which is the name of the department name so here let's make it string and here let's give it name okay so each this department will have name and also we need to fill uh, the table so we need to add uh, some departments so here as you can see i don't have the departments and positions so you can add them so when we create the attendance attendances and employees so it will be the same thing so you can do the same thing and create the departments and also the positions but for now i will add the, the i will insert uh, some departments uh, using uh, this migration okay
So I will paste the code and you can find the code in the description below. So you will find source code link. So just follow the link. It will take you to the GitHub repo. So there you will find the code or source code for this project. So just copy like I have done. So just copy this. Uh, command from here and we insert the default uh, department so we have many departments here so we name and created and updated that okay so just save uh, and we are done but uh, before we move uh, to the next so we need to do something so we need to import uh, our class uh, which is uh, the dp class so you can import this from illuminate support uh, facades uh, dp so let's import it uh, and now uh, we are done so save so let's save and uh, now we can move uh, to next so let's move uh, to the next so next we have uh, the positions so here we have uh, the same thing so the position will have uh, a title and the title is uh, string okay and we will do the same thing so i will just copy and paste here the command uh, and we will add uh, some uh, default uh, positions so as i told you so you can copy the same thing from uh, source code so here is our command so let's add here insert default positions uh, and save and here we have as i told you the title with the created and updated ads and here we need also to import uh, the dp class so let's import it uh, and you can import it from illuminate support facades uh, the base uh, save uh, and let's move uh, to the next uh, let's move to the next so next we have uh, employees so here we have uh, many fields uh, so the first one let's uh, let's copy or let's let's copy and paste so the first one is first name so let's uh, Let's make it string and we have the first name okay so next we have more fields let's paste here so we have the first name we have the last name and we have also the so we have the email and the email needs to be unique and what else we need we need the phone and we need also the address uh, and uh, also we need dates of uh, birth uh, dates uh, of uh, so of uh, birth uh, and let's make it date uh, and also we need another one which is the higher 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 dates uh, and what else we need so let's copy from here so we need an image for the employee and also we need the salary and salary will be integer so here salary and what else we need so we need the boolean field so boolean and this one will be status and status will be so the status will be zero or one so by default it will be one which means uh, that uh, status will be active which means that this employee or this employee is already uh, inside the company or his status is already active okay so what else we need so we need for in k for departments and position okay so let's add here so let's copy and paste or let's change here from string so we need foreign so we need foreign id and foreign id will be department id and this one will be uh, so let's make it null uh, on uh, 
delete so if we delete so for example if we delete so let's uh, make it like this so delete so if we delete the department uh, so we will make the so we will make the department ID null, okay? So we will not. So if we delete the department, we will not uh, remove uh, the employees uh, who work uh, in this department, okay? So we will set the ID or the department ID for this employees uh, to null, okay? So this is the meaning of this. Uh, so null on uh, delete, and we need to do the same thing for. Uh, the position ID so let's copy and paste and we need here position position ID so we have the department ID and position ID and that's all so we have the first name the last name and also we have the email the phone we have the address the date of birth we have the higher date we have the image the salary, the status, uh, the department ID, which is foreign ID or foreign K, and the position ID. Okay, so let's move uh, to the next. Uh, so, the next is uh, the attendance. So, here we have uh, the check in and check out uh, uh, so fields, and also we have uh, dates. So, let's first paste here. So, we need first one which is date and let's name also the field we can name is date and we need two more fields so the first one is time or the type here is time so we'll add the time for the check in so let's remove this one so check in and we need also another one for the check out so here it's time so that's all we have only three fields we have the dates no so i forgot i have another so we need another field which is the employee id so let's copy from here and uh, paste here so we need foreign k which is uh, the employee id employee id so we need foreign k and here we can make it uh, cascade on uh, delete okay so what else we need so we need here the dates check in check out and employee id so that's all so let's move uh, to the next so the next is uh, final one which is the holidays uh, request so here we have uh, so we need also here the employee id let's change it from department to employee id and also we need the cascade on delete so we will remove uh, cascade on delete so when we remove the employee so we will remove the holiday or the holidays requests so here for an id on um, employee id and we need also starting let's go to the attendance again so here let's add here so we need start date and end date okay for the holidays so let's add here start and end so we need two fields so this one will be start date uh, and this one will be the end date uh, and we need also notes uh, so notes so here let's let's make it only string uh, and notes and default here so here the default uh, value or let's make it null able okay so what else we need also status and status will be a little bit different so we'll use enum so which is the type and let's make it status which is the name of the field and here we need to provide the default value so we have the pending which means that the request is pending or approved or rejected 
and that's all okay but we need to make the the default one which is pending so the the holiday request will be by default pending until we approve it or we reject it okay so that's all so we have created the, our migrations and the models so let's now run the migrations so php artisan migrate and hit enter so let's type yes to create a database and we are done okay so now we have or we are done with the models and the migrations so next we need to move uh, to the model relationship or to the models uh, relationships